Welcome to the Boston Institute of Finance's Financial Calculator video tutorial series, Understanding Standard Deviation. A brief review of what standard deviation is. This is the normal distribution, or in layman's terms, the bell curve. It's a model that describes how probabilities are spread out and helps inform us of how likely an outcome is. The total area underneath the normal curve is 100%. The middle of the curve is where the mean, or average, value is. It follows that the left half and the right half of the area under the curve are each 50%. The standard deviation acts as a sort of measuring stick whereby you can locate important points along the bottom axis. One standard deviation from the mean on both sides will capture approximately 68% of the total area under the curve. The area under the curve between one and two deviations away is approximately 14%, and between two and three is approximately 2%. This is the complete picture. It's important for you to memorize three numbers along with this image of the curve. One deviation out, 68%, two deviations out, 95%, and three deviations out, 99.7%. Here's an example of how to use average and standard deviation on a CFP exam question. Middle Blue Company's stock has an average return of 7% and a standard deviation of 3%. What percentage of the time should an investor of Middle Blue Company expect a return of 4% or more? Our mean or average is 7% and the measuring stick, standard deviation, is 3%. Each standard deviation away from the mean is 3%. Therefore, the markings along the axis will be 4 at 1 SD below, 1 at 2 SD below, 10 at 1 SD above, 13 at 2 SD above, and 16 at 3 SD above. The question asks for 4% or more, so this means you total the areas above minus 1 SD. 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 2.35 is 83.85, which can be rounded to 84%, which is the final answer.